First at 5.30 tonight, all but one school in Cranston held classes today despite more than 250 absences. And this is the first time in 25 years school had class on Good Friday. Now, a judge ruled last week after the teachers filed a lawsuit that they could take the day off if they put in a request by this past Wednesday. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Planner has our top local story at 5.30 tonight. The superintendent had said this would be a last minute call and it was because of the possibility of last minute notices of absence. All but one Cranston Public School, Western Hills Middle, in session this Good Friday. Eyewitness news at nearby Orchard Farms Elementary during drop-off. Word from the superintendent's office went out via robocall at around 6 in the morning, the district website, and even more personal channels. I texted the teacher and the teacher responded that school was on with a smiley face. The school department tells Eyewitness News well over 200 teachers, their assistants and other positions took religious leave Friday. Officials say excluding Western Hills, over 3,500 students were out of school for a multitude of reasons, a 37% absence. The normal range is 10 to 15%. All this comes in the wake of a March lawsuit in which teachers union members sued to have Good Friday off over district objections. A judge recently signed off on that. Of the parents who sent their children Friday, Carrie Poirier said the school year's been elongated enough. I honestly felt like there was just so much snow this year, honestly. So if we can get the kids out any earlier than usual, that's I'm um, for it. Luckily for Carrie, her daughter wasn't one to mope about school on Good Friday. No, she looks forward. She gets up, wants to get dressed and out the door. The school department adds a combination of substitutes and administrators filling in teaching classes, including the superintendent herself, help cover the staffing loss. Meanwhile, the lawsuit continues, and the question of whether or not the people who took today off will be compensated remains up in the air. I'm Jared Pleiter, Eyewitness News.